Hello friends, today we will discuss the problem on a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rests centrally over a cube of side 50 mm. Draw the isometric projection of combination of solids. Here, first we get what we have to do, we have to identify what are the combinations of solids he has given you. Okay. We'll write the solution. First one is combination of solids. Combination of solids. First one is cone. Second one is cube. Okay, these two are the combination of solids he has given you in the problem. Now let us see the orthographic view of cone and a cube. We can see the xy line above the xy line vp below the xy line it's hp vp is always seen from front view hp is always seen from top view i have written orthographic view of the object cone is placed centrally over a cube you can see this is the cube all the sides it is equal you can see all the sides it is equal and we can see this is the cone the cone base diameter is uh, 30 mm and height is 40 mm which has been given in the problem you can see here 30 mm diameter of the base diameter is 30 mm and height is 40 mm and cube we can see the cube size is 50 mm that means here we can see from the problem a cone of base diameter 30 mm and height 40 mm rest centrally over a cube of side 50 mm rest centrally it's here over a cube of side 50 mm it's here cone is placed over the cube that means axis of the axis of the cone and axis of the cube lies in the same line it's here okay that's what he has given in the problem and from this figure we can easily understand see from the top view the sides of the cube is 50 mm and also height we can see a 50 mm the cone base diameter is 30 mm the height of the cone is 40 mm this is the orthographic view which has been written and now let's do the problem here from here draw an horizontal line make a reference point from here the cone base side is 50 mm that means how many boxes five boxes one two three four five boxes one two three four five again towards your left hand side one two three four five boxes again from here five boxes one two three four five again from here five boxes one two three four five now the height of the cube is again 50 mm that is five boxes from each corner one two three four five again from here it's here one two three four five again from here one two three four five again from here one two three four five now you join the top end points on the cube we will find out the top surface of the cube See? 
see now we have constructed the cube outside 50 mm now over this cube we have to place the cone how to place the cone over the top surface of this cube here we have to place the base diameter of the cone if you want to place the base diameter of the cone we have to construct the base diameter of the cone over here that is now we will go to the orthographic view here in this problem you can see from the top view the diameter of the cone base is 30 mm and the height is 40 mm now see it is placed on top surface of a cube here see from the center towards your right hand side and left hand side what is the distance we have to identify that is from the center towards the right hand side is 15 mm and towards your left it is 15 mm the diameter of the cone is 30 mm that means here 15 mm left hand side and 15 mm right hand side before that we will draw the diagonal lines and from the center you have to take 15 mm towards your right see half box and one that means 15 here and again half box and 15 mm half a box over 15 mm again 15 now we join these points now what we have to do we have written the box over here then i will give the notations this as a b c d i have given the notations a b c d i will find out the midpoint of a e and b this will be the midpoint i will find out the midpoint of c and d this will be the midpoint i will find out the midpoint of c and d this will be the midpoint and I will find out the midpoint of A and D. This will be the midpoint. Now I will write this as 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now I will join A to 2 and draw a line A to 3 and once again I will draw a line C to 4 and again I will join right a line C to 1 so here what I have done first I have written a rhombus a box uh, then I have given the notations A B C D after giving the notations I have found out the midpoint of A and B and midpoint of B and C and mid midpoint of C and D and midpoint of D and A I have given the notations 1 2 3 4 okay now we have to construct a isocircle to construct house circle we have to measure the length a to 3 we will measure the length a to 3 cut an arc that touches 2 from 3 to 2 again from c to 1 the touches 4 now again what I will do here I will give the notations as O and this one as O1 from O to 3 measure the length cut an arc Three to four cut an arc again from here go to one attaches two so here we have constructed the arc 
what I have done, I will repeat again. First, I have taken A, B, C, D. The box corners I have given the notations A, B, C, D. After that, in between A and B, I will find out a midpoint. And B and C midpoint, C and D midpoint, D and D midpoint. I have given the notation 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, I have joined A to 2. Then, A to 3, C to 4 and C to 1. Then I have taken the compose and I have measured the length A to 3. The curtain arc touches 3 to 2. And from C again 1 to 4. The curtain arc again from O to 3 touches 4. Again O1 to length 1 and now constructed the base base circle have constructed of the cone now we have to find out the height of the cone height of the cone he has given you 40 mm that means from the center we have to measure the length of how much height is 40 mm it's here of box here of that means half, one and half, two and half, three and half, and here it will be four. See, half, one and half, two and half, three and half, and here it will end at four. That is four boxes. And we have to draw a tangent line touching the apex. Now, almost we have completed the problem. Now we have to identify which are visible lines, which are invisible lines. When you see from the front view. Now, for that, what I do? I use the I use the color sketch pen. Here you can see a from the top. of the line is visible over here also and again over here again here draw the visible lines see this is also visible and this is also visible this is also visible and again this is visible for you now you mention here this angle is 30 degree and again here it is angle is 30 degree and measure the dimensions